kill another one. Jericho wall must go down. Jericho gates must go down. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's go in the book of Joshua chapter 6. That is where we have the word of the Lord tonight. And we are going to be blessed in the name of Jesus. Joshua 6 and verse 1. Now the gates of Jericho were tightly shut because of the people were afraid of the Israelites. No one was allowed to go in or go out. Tell your neighbor for me, neighbor, any gate that is shut because of you. Today we came here to bring it down in the name of Jesus. The gate was shut because people were afraid of the children of Israel. They didn't want them to get in and they shut the gate because of them. If there is any gate that was shut because of you, any gate that was shut because of your marriage, any gate that was shut because of your career, because of your job, because of your finances, tonight is tonight. Tell your neighbor, tonight is tonight. Ah, tonight is tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. This gate was shut. Verse 2. But the Lord said to Joshua, But the Lord said to Joshua, I have given you Jericho, hey, its king, and all its strong warriors. Look at this. The children of Israel were given Jericho as their land, but the enemy protected or prevented them to enter but look at the promise of God I have not only given Jericho but I've given you its kings and I've given you its strong warriors in other words anything in that land I have given you the enemy may try to shut your doors to close your gates for the next level but today the Bible tells us I have given you Jericho not only Jericho even the king not only the king even the warriors in other words I've given you the state I've given you the government of Jericho I've given you the land I've given you everything that you desire you deserve today we came to decree in the month of February the month of divine speed any gate that was shut for us not to acquire what we need to acquire any gate that was shut because our business for our businesses not to work any gate that was shut for our marriages not to work any gate that was shut for your career not to progress today we came to decree and declare enough is enough every promise of the Lord shall come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus if he promised this year you start a business I decree and declare you will start it I decree and declare you will do it I decree and declare you will get married I decree and declare you will touch that finances in the mighty name of Jesus I would say my man Vizuri Dwendele you and your fighting men should march around the town once a day for six days. Twendele, twendele, twendele. Uh -huh. Seven priests will walk ahead of the ark, each carrying a ram's horn. On the seventh day, you are to march round, around the town seven times with the priest blowing the horn. Then go to verse five. Uh -huh. Verse 5. When you hear the priest, when you hear the priest, give one long blast on the lamb's horn. Have uh, all the people shout as loud as they can. Then the wall of the town will collapse and the people can charge, can charge straight into the town. Give us verse 15. Verse 15. Go to verse 15. Verse 15, verse 15, verse 15. The Bible say in verse 15, on the seventh day, the Israelites got up at dawn and marched around to the town as they had done before. But this time they went around the town seven times. Verse 16, this, seven, this seventh time around, as the priests sounded the long blast on their horns, Joshua commanded the people, shout for the Lord has given you the town. Another version say, for the Lord has given you the land. Can you tell your neighbor, neighbor, tonight is your seventh time. 
I don't know how many times you have tried, but tonight is your seventh time. Usiku wa leo ni mara yako ya saba. Number seven biblically means rest. It means accomplishment. It means fulfillment. I came to decree and declare accomplishment in your life, fulfillment in your life, rest in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. The battles are over. Can you shout I receive it? Give us verse 17 then we hear the word. Jericho and everything in it must be completely destroyed as an offering of the Lord. Only Rahab the prostitute and others in the, her house will be spared for the for she protected our spies. Father, we thank you for the reading of your word. As we hear your word today, may you shift our levels in Jesus mighty name. Somebody say amen. 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 Now the Bible says in verse 1 that the gate of Jericho they were tightly shut. Nobody went entered and nobody came out. Why was it shut? It was intentionally shut because of the children of Israel. Today I came to decree and I came to declare any gate that is shut because of you. Any door that is shut because of you. As your prophet I came to decree. Here comes the key. You will open it in the name of Jesus Christ. Even if you don't open you will crush it in the name of Jesus. It must go down in the name of Jesus. I say it must go down in the name of Jesus. Look at this. The place was shut for that people, so that people will not enter. And the children of Israel, they they came to this place and they are here. They don't know what to do. Jericho is here. It is tightly guarded. It is tightly shut. This is when the place where they felt as if they have stuck. A place where they felt as if they have gone back. As if they are confused and it's and they don't know what to do next I came to decree to and declare any Jericho standing ahead of you may it be a human being may it be a situation may it be demonic may it be generational today any Jericho standing on your way it must go down I say it must go down it must go down it must go down divine speed must take over divine speed must be accelerated it is your month of sing harvest can you shout and say it is over Jericho it is over with you it is over give way now in Jesus mighty name the place of retrogression the place of pain this is a place where by nothing is working the gates are shut nobody is getting in nobody is getting out there are people tonight you are at the stage of Jericho you are in that state whereby nothing is working out nothing is making sense you are in that level whereby nobody wants to hear you nobody wants to help you uh, this is the place whereby people run away from you and they are the people of your own house they are the people of your own family this is when your friends become disloyal your friend betray you this is the stage of Jericho whereby nothing is working out nothing is going on there is no job there is no business people don't want to be associated with you but today as your prophet I came with one mandate to get you out of Jericho or to crush Jericho for you I came with one mandate to get you out of Jericho or to crush it on your behalf in the mighty name of Jesus can somebody shout Hallelujah. So if you will, in Jericho nothing moves. In Jericho nothing moves. In Jericho you start anything it dies. In Jericho you try anything nothing is working. In Jericho you go to take a loan at the bank and it's a bank you have been banking with and you are denied money. In Jericho you ask people for 200 shillings for you to eat. Nobody can give you. In Jericho that is when you call people. They are not picking your calls. In Jericho that is when your house is locked. Nobody is willing to shelter you. In Jericho that is when you don't have anything to eat. Nobody to give you 50 shillings. In Jericho that is when you
you have no money in your pocket, but nobody is well, nobody is willing to be associated with you in Jericho. That is where you are boss. See you as a nobody and useless in Jericho. That is when people call you names and they tell you that you don't think in Jericho. That is where the devil frustrates you, right, left, and center. But today I came to decree Rekata Raprosa Laba. Anything acting as Jericho, anything lifting itself as Jericho, anything standing before you, anything standing ahead of you as Jericho, it must bow, it must go down in the mighty name of Jesus. We are in the month of divine speed. You cannot afford to be delayed again. No more stagnation. In Jericho is a place of stagnation because you don't know where to go. You don't know where to enter. In Jericho is a place of depression and a place of stress. But today I came to declare, let there be a way out. Let there be a change. Let there be a turn around. Let there be a change in the mighty name of Hey! Moremi in Jericho. That is when your best friends stand to be the worst enemies. <laughs> in Jericho, that is where marriages are broken. That is where divorces come through. That is where separations in marriage come through. That is where your wife turn around and against you. Your husband turn around and turn against you. That is when your own blood, flesh and blood betrays you in Jericho. But I came to say, you have overstayed in Jericho. I came to move you forward. I came to move you forward. I came to say you have overstayed. You have overstayed. Now every war and every gate and door of Jericho must go down in Jesus name you know in Jericho <laughs> nothing makes sense you look at Monica preaching you say Monica you are preaching so powerfully and you are preaching so well but that is not my word because you don't see anything moving you don't see anything working in Jericho is when a pastor or a man of God will speak over your life and you laugh because of the problems surrounding you in Jericho is when you try to pray but you cannot pray you try to fast but you're not able to fast in Jericho is a place whereby you try to go to church and you cannot get out of your bed whereby you try to go to fellowship you cannot go out of your bed there are people watching me at the comfort of their houses not because they wanted to watch me there it's only that they don't have energy even to come to church because they are in Jericho because they are in that state whereby nothing is making sense nothing is adding up but I came to take you out of that place ah by the reason of the divine speed of the month of February you must get out of that place I say you must be delivered you must be delivered you must be delivered can you shout every Jericho anything standing as Jericho in my life what are you waiting for catch fire now I destroy you by the power of the blood of Jesus catch fire now oh you Jericho of death where were my Danny who may see mama come at Jericho where were my Danny who may see mama come at Jericho what are you doing in my life catch fire in Jesus name in Jericho is when even the TV in a chomekaga kwa nyumba. In Jericho, gas in Aisha. Microwave in a chomeka. But I saw if you in Jericho, baka baka radio in a kufa. Hakuna kitu inafanya kazi. In Jericho is a place whereby even in your own house things are not working out. In Jericho ujai kuta hiyo siku ambo stima hakuna zimepotea ambo meshindu wa kulipa unapata gas iliisha na hauna pesa. TV na chomeka pure tu. Simu yako ina crash kio. Hakuna mutu naeza pigia simu. Hiyo ni wakati wa Jericho. Na wengine wako hiyo Jericho. Lakini leo ni mekucha kusema imetosha imetosha lazima Jericho yondoke ama lazima wewe ukate katikati upite katika Yesu Jericho ni mahali pa mateso ati ilikuwa imefungwa hakuna kuingia na hakuna kutoka in Jericho ni mahali watu wa bank wanakuja wanataka pesa zao hawataki kujua wanabeba gari lako wanabeba nyumba yako siku moja 2014 nilijikuta 
ukiwa katika hiyo hali ya Jericho unapigia mtu simu kumwambia tu nipatie elfu mia moja niokoe gari langu na niokoe nyumba yangu unataka kuokoa vitu za milioni 30 unataka tu 100000 unyamazishe madeni ya bank lakini hakuna mtu hata mmoja anaweza akakupatia 1000 ama 500 kama uko hiyo Jericho leo nimekuja kutangaza as your prophet enough is enough as your prophet enough is enough ukiwa Jericho by the way watu wanakuonanga kama wewe ni mwizi <laughs> Liz, in Jericho you suffer rejection una suffer nini rejection the children of Israel they were rejected to enter into their land this is the promised land god wanted them to enter Jericho but the people there they shut the doors they rejected the children of Israel they do want to see them they were afraid of them this is where everybody and everything rejects you baka chakula inaku reject unakuna tumbo inaharibika unavaa nguo haupendezi unaenda kwa watu wataki kukuona unaingia mahali watu wanasema amekuja wananyamaza wote unaingia mahali watu wanasema guy huyu amekuja kutuomba pesa unaingia mahali watu wanasema guy huyu sumbua amekuja najua kuna watu wengine wamekuandika sumbua kwa simu zao ili wasipokee simu yako maana umekuwa wa kuombaomba wakakuandika sumbua wakiona ni wewe wanafinya hapa upande inaacha kuitana kama uko hapa unapitia hayo hali ya Jericho today i came as your prophet i am given mandate from heaven to come and take you out to come and take you out do i have a believer to come and take you out can you shout Jericho Jericho collapse now collapse 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 in the name of Jesus Hey. Jericho ni mahali unakatali yangu. Hey. Wewe hujai kataliwa unakataliwa mpaka na manamba. Unaenda kuingia gari. Manamba tu anakupatia tu madharau anakataa uingie. Anaenda na beba huyo ako hapo next. Unashindwa mbona amekataa niingie? Kwa nini nanuka? Jericho ni mbaya inaku, inakuwekaga rejection. Watu wanakuchukia tu from nowhere. Mbona hizo wasifiwe? Kwa Jericho unapanda boda boda inakuangusha kwa mutaro ni wewe tu unaanguka na ameshinda kibeba the whole day hakuna mtu mwingine ameanguka unajua vitu zingine ndogo ndogo ufanyika tunaziasiu hizo vitu unaasiu mingi hizo ni za kiroho life is very spiritual life is very spiritual in Jericho ni mahali kila kitu inatana against you umebebana tu na kama ziwa kako kamefungwa na juara ukiwa tu unatembea tu from nowhere mtoto anakuja amekugonga kama ziwa kana dungwa kana anguka kana kana mwagika na hauna pesa ingine ya kununua kama ziwa kengine eh hey, injeriko ni mahali unaitaka chakula jikoni alafu unaenda kuoga chakula inaungua na huku na pesa ya kununua chakula tena yani vitu zinatana against you even the normal things zinatana against you but i came to decree and declare no more jericho in your life no more rejection in your life in the mighty name of jesus can you shout no more jericho hey jericho brother ni mahali mke wako anakulizaga wewe ni mwanaume wa aina gani kama leo kuna wanaume wataulizwa hivyo wewe ni wa aina gani watu wamenunua maua wewe uko tu huku na uko na, na uko mwanaume afadhali uke ungezaliwa kuwa ngombe mama yako akamuage afadhali hata ungezaliwa mwanamke wewe ni mwanaume unakaache huwezi ataletea mtu maua Jericho ni mahali unaingia kwa nyumba badala mke wako akukaribishe anakuambia he umekuja na nini sasa leo wacha tuone Kenya umekuja nacho na umechoka brother umeshinda mchengo umeshinda ukitafuta pesa umepata tu tatu na hiyo tatu unajaribu kugawa haigawiki hujui ni rent hujui ni chakula hujui ni school fees na hataki kuelewa hiyo Jericho nimekuja ni kukuamue nimekuja ni kutoe nasema nimekuja ni kutoe nimekuja ni kukuamue Jericho ni mbaya ukiwa Jericho a place of rejection a place of discouragement hapo ndipo ndoa zina yumba yumba familia zina yumba yumba Jericho ni mahali biashara 
haifanyi chochote Liz unaamka asubuhi naenda kwa kazi unakaa mpaka usiku hauuzi haujauza chochote na ukiuza kile umeuza ni fea ya kwenda na kurudi kesho yani hakuna kitu kinazaa katika biashara yako Jericho ni mahali ambapo vitu hazizani vitu hazisongi mbele hakuna faida hakuna faida ni hasara tu unaamka unaenda kutafuta biashara unaenda kufanya kazi lakini hakuna kitu narudi nacho unarudi mugu uko umechoka na haujakula na haujauza chochote unajaribu kufunga kupigilia biashara hakuna kitu inaendelea leo nimekuja nikutoe katika Jericho wewe unafanya biashara haujauza chochote hii wiki haujauza chochote huu mwezi nimekuja kusema ina Enough is enough enough is enough enough is enough bwana yesu asifiwe a place of stagnation nothing is moving they couldn't move inside if it was not the hand of the lord and using his servant joshua they wouldn't go inside hawange ingia ndani leo kwa jeni yako mwambie jirani place of stagnation tonight because we are in the month of divine speed tonight we are getting out of jericho we are getting out of jericho can you tell your neighbor neighbor i don't know about you but as for me and my house as for me and my family i'm getting out of jericho the place of stagnation the place of delay the place of roundabouting nothing is moving hey bwana yesu asifiwe nothing is moving in jericho It's where by Baraka Moses you are pushed to the wall. You don't know what next. You either crash the wall or you either die. That is Jericho. Today I came to speak to anybody who has gone all the way to the wall. You are pushed to your end. You are pushed to your end that you cannot do anything. That is you I came for and I came to decree and declare let it be known let it be written let the devil know let the heavens know that Jericho wall today it is coming down I say it is coming down today is your seventh time it is your seventh day it is your seventh time it is your dawn 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 asubuhi yako imefika mara yako ya saba imefika siku yako ya saba imefika Weeping may endure for a night but joy comes in the morning your morning is this service i say your morning is today your morning is now i say your morning is now if you have faith you shall see your life moving on you shall see the world coming down you shall see jericho no more in jesus mighty name jericho is not a good place to be tell your neighbor is not a good place to be Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Jericho is not a good feeling to feel. It is frustrating. In Jericho is nobody, no one is willing to be called by you, to be associated by you. And I know there are people here. People are running away from you. People are not picking your calls. People are not, you know, they are not interested with you again. They are not looking after you. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. But let me tell you, tonight is the night that the wall of Jericho will go down. And when it breaks down, the children of Israel when they entered, they entered and they went to River Jordan. In other words, after Jericho, you enter your River Jordan. River Jordan is just one step away from Jericho and that is where there is life that is where there is favor that is where your business start working out that is where your marriage start working out that is where money start coming in that is where money start locating your account that is where everybody is looking for you everybody wants you today i came to shift you from Jericho to Jordan in the mighty name of Jesus a place of rest a place of fulfillment a place of accomplishment a place where by there is water a place where by it is not dry again i came to take you out of jericho and to escort you to you are jordan in the mighty name of jesus let me tell you one thing one thing with jericho you cannot be able to get out by yourself you need a prophet i say you need a prophet 
You need a prophet. Hello, you need a prophet. You that you are watching me online, you need a prophet. The Bible says in verse 2, I've given you this land. But the Lord said to Joshua, I've given you Jericho, its king, and all his strong warrior. Nime kupatia. Na kampatia instructions. When you are in Jericho, you need a prophet that can give you instructions. A prophet that can speak over your life. That can speak over your head. A prophet that can tell you what to do. That is why I am here today, Liz. That is why I am here today to tell you what to do. To tell you where to go. To shift you from where where you are to your level in the mighty name of Jesus and the prophet of God was given instructions go around Jericho for six days every day once on the seventh day go around seven times on the seventh time shout like never before shout like there is no tomorrow and Jericho wall will come down you need a prophet to hold your hand you need a prophet to show you the way you need a prophet to speak a blessing over your life, you need a prophet to, to, to take you out of Jericho to show you what to do for you to get out of Jericho and by the reason of prophetess Monica being your prophet tonight, I came to decree and declare Reprozikata, Rehanda Dadaboza, that every Jericho must go down every wall must go down in the mighty name of Jericho is where now you need a prophet over your head Jericho is where you need a prophet over your head tell your neighbor for me Jericho is where you need a prophet over your life Mwangali Mwambie congratulations because you have one because you came tonight because you are watching tonight congratulations because you are here tonight and I am given mandate I am given power and authority I am empowered I am equipped to take you out of Jericho to give you instructions to pray for you to speak over your life and today as a prophet of God upon your life and all over your head I decree and declare get out of Jericho now get into your resting place get into your fulfillment to your accomplishment in the mighty name of Jesus tell your neighbor for me neighbor you don't know why you came today you may not have any clue why you came for this service today why you made made it for this service today but you came here with a reason and a purpose God orchestrated your steps that is why you are here today God orchestrated your movement that is why you are here today for me to speak a blessing for me to cancel Jericho for me to bring it down for me to speak over your life for me to prophesy and I prophesy to everybody under the sound of my voice I prophesy I prophesy I prophesy tonight you are getting into your Jordan tonight you are getting into a Jordan there must be a sign there must be a sign there must be a sign there are people tonight you are receiving a phone of good news you are receiving an email of good news you are receiving a phone call of good news you are receiving money as a sign that you are no longer in Jericho you are receiving an email you are receiving a text you are receiving a phone call you are receiving news uh, to show you as a sign you are no longer in Jericho, whoever you are, receive it now. Receive it now. I am your Joshua. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. Get out of Jericho. Now move. The walls are going down. The walls are going down. The gates are cutting off. The gates are cutting off. They are going down. Get out. Get out. Go to your children. Go to your fulfillment. Go to your accomplishment. Get out. The dry season is over. I said the dry season is over. And Joshua, after they did the instructions, they entered the land of Jericho. And they settled there. In verse 26, the Bible says, and Joshua invoked a curse and said, whoever will rebuild Jericho, hey, give us verse 26. At the time Joshua invoked this curse, may the, may the curse of the land, of the Lord, fall on anyone who tries to rebuild the town of Jericho. At the cost of his firstborn son, he will lay 
its foundation at the cost of his youngest son he will set up his gate listen Joshua said yeyote atainua tena yeyote atainua tena ukuta wa Jericho amelaaniwa akiweka msingi atazika mwana wake wa kwanza akimaliza kuweka gate akimaliza kujenga mtoto wake wa mwisho anakufa na laana ilitendeka mwanamume mmoja after so many years like 700 years came and started building when he started the first born died when he finished the last born died today i came to decree anybody who try to take you back to jericho anyone who try to rebuild jericho again who try to make you suffer again who will bring pain on you again who is going to bring laughter and and sorrows are in your life again yeye atafanya uchekelewe udhairishwe na udhalaliwe leo amelaaniwa nasema amelaaniwa nasema amelaaniwa amelaaniwa yeyote atakuja kujaribu kufanya usikie uchungu wenye ulisikia ukiwa Jericho yeyote atakaye jaribu kuinua Jericho tena maishani mwako yeyote atakaye jaribu kupiga ndoa yako kupiga biashara yako kupiga kazi ya mikono yako kama nabii wa Mungu nasema amelaaniwa 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 yeyote ataleta uchungu tena amelaaniwa 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 Joshua akasema hivi Moses yeyote atakaye jenga kuta za Jericho tena ndio tufungiwe nje tena akianza kuchimba msingi mtoto wake wa kwanza akufe akimaliza kujenga mtoto wake wa mwisho akufe leo nimekuja nikuambie yeyote atajaribu kukuleta Jericho tena yeyote atajaribu kuinua machungu tena yeyote atajaribu kukurudisha nyuma tena yeyote atangangana ufutwe kazi yeyote atangangana biashara yako ifungwe amelaaniwa yeyote anaenda kwa wachawi ili usifanikiwe amelaaniwa yeyote anafanya ushirikina usifanikiwe amela aniwa yeyote anangangana usiwaiza amelaaniwa yeyote anangangana usiwaisika pesa amelaaniwa yeyote anangangana kazi yako ishe ufutwe kazi amelaaniwa yeyote anangangana ukufe kabla ya siku zako amelaaniwa in jesus name and calamity will not arise a second time you are out of jericho and you are not going back to Jericho again after tonight in Jesus name rise on your feet we pray if you are angry and you are feeling i am the one who has been in Jericho